What up y'all, this is Sir Cruz coming to y'all today with another Q&A. Just a few questions. I ain't gonna make the video too long because I want to make a few of them. So, First question from Brian Young. How to keep sewer rag from falling off? Basically, you just keep your, you put your sewer rag on. You know, you do your little method. Put your sewer rag on and put a stocker cap on it. Put a stocker cap over it before you go to bed because after a while the sewer rag tends to lose its shape. You know, you know, like some clothes you buy, they, they fit at first and then all of a sudden they lose their shape. Same with the sewer rag. So when you put a sewer rag on, either put another sewer rag on top of that or put a stocking cap on or a, a do-rag, a regular original do-rag. So that's it. Next question from Rudy Jean. Rudy Jean. What's that sound like a legend? That's a legendary name. Rudy Jean. How to make waves look good if it if it looks neat in the back, but from the front it looks nappy and frizzy. Um, I don't know. All I can say is is brush with a hard brush. The hard brush. Now you got to have a little bit of hair on your head, but what I would say do is brush with a hard brush because the hard brush tends to straighten out your hair and makes it more neat than the soft brush. A soft or medium brush that'll really just curl your hair up. That's not really pulling your hair like you would need it to. You know, so you would basically have to use a hard brush, preferably a Diane 8159. Correct me if I'm wrong, go to Google, Google it, Diane hard brush. Zoom in on the picture, see, if, see what numbers say. But yeah, use a Diane brush, because I, I figured out that when I do my little method, you know, I, I hot towel, then I, I hot towel to open my pores up moisturizer let that sit in there for about five minutes and then I comb it in then I brush it in with a hard brush my hair is always thick so I ain't got to worry about if the hard brush gonna make my scalp bleed a little, a little bit or something I ain't got to worry about that so basically what I do like I said that method and use a hard brush because a hard brush will pull your hair and it'll lay your hair down better than a soft or a medium brush because a medium brush is like it's just playing with your hair it ain't really it's like a medium or soft brush is like a, a butter knife. It's not it's not a real knife. It's just it's just a, a blue play knife. It ain't getting down to the business. A hard brush, it'll get down to your scalp, it'll brush every single hair strand, it'll brush every single hair strand and lay it down. So use a hard brush. Rudy Jean. Next question from Noah Smith. What makes your waves deeper or better in general? Nothing can make your waves deep. Just brush it. You need a, a, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know if it's a myth to say you need more hair to make your waves look deeper, but to me, the illusion, it's an illusion when you have more hair, so I would say, I would generate a conclusion to say that is having more hair will make your waves look deeper, but overall to make your waves look deeper, you need more hair. You need more hair to work with, like I said, use a hard brush so it can really pull that hair down there and get deep until you, you know, get deep and down to the root. So, use a hard brush to make them deeper. Got skills, skills. Doesn't matter what kind of do-rag you use to properly get waves. It don't matter what you use, you can use panties. You can use a sock. It don't matter what you use as long as it's a proper method of compression to hold your head out. It don't matter what it is you use. Nothing. That ain't got nothing to do with getting waves. Nothing. No do-rag. None of that has nothing to do with waves. Nothing to do with getting waves. What gets you waves is brushing. Like I keep saying in every video, what gets you waves is brushing. Do-rag ain't got nothing to do with it. Going to sleep on what side of your head. You can sleep upside down. That ain't got nothing to do with it. Brush your hair. Get to the business, that's all you gotta do. Comment on the video, some more questions I can make into a video. That's all.